November 9th, he removes kings. Daniel chapter 2 verses 20 to 21. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Robert Ingersoll, a 19th century American politician and atheist, said, The universe is all the God there is. Ingersoll lectured widely about his belief that God did not exist. Yet, Ingersoll is gone and God is still here. Bertrand Russell, a British philosopher and social critic, proclaimed, My own view on religion is that it is a disease born of fear and is a source of untold misery to the human race. Russell has stepped into eternity and is no doubt rethinking his view. Daniel realized that even powerful dictators like King Nebuchadnezzar are no match for the omnipotent, omniscient God of the universe. Though they swagger in their own self-importance, the time comes when God removes them and raises up others to take their place. As the seasons of nature come and go, so even the most authoritarian leaders pass from the scene. Though they may seem to hold the power of life or death over millions, they themselves are subject to the desires of him who holds their lives in his hand. The pages of history are filled with individuals who have either denied or defied the God of heaven and earth. Yet without exception, they have been confronted with the realization that they were only mortal and posed no real threats to God. While they confidently basked in the power of their independence, God retained the ability to lift them up or cast them down. Do not fear those who mock God. They have no more power than what God will allow. When you hear someone railing on God, remember that it is only divine grace that keeps that person from destruction. If God were not so good, atheists would have no opportunity to talk. Man's decisions seem final until God decides otherwise. Amen.